What's going on guys? So in this video, I thought I would do a full review of the Wake Smarter App Store application. Now, very rarely do I actually do um, paid App Store reviews uh, on applications. Um, you guys know I probably only have about two or three on my entire channel, but when I do, I really enjoy the application. This app is really impressive and it's something I'm definitely gonna be using in my everyday life. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll put all the, uh, all the information, the links, the developer site, and uh, all that good stuff down in the underbar so you guys can check it out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, like I said, the app is called Wake Smarter. It's available for $2.99 in the App Store. So go ahead and just jump right into this review. And uh, the first time you open up the application, it's going to look something like this. It's going to have this big, beautiful background um, with the clock and date right underneath it. This background is available to be changed. They have over 30 different backgrounds to choose from. I'll get to that in just a couple minutes here. Uh, I just want to focus on the home screen for just a second. There's a number of different things you can do just from the home screen itself. First thing is if you slide your finger down across the application, um, or back up the application, you have the ability to change the brightness. So if you're in a darker room or a lighter room and uh, you just want to dim the light down and, and, and so it's not uh, in your eyes when you're trying to sleep, you can do that. Down here is a switch for the daytime and nighttime clock. So we're on daytime right now. Uh, just tap it and you get uh, kind of that daytime or a nighttime kind of simple uh, clock that you have and uh, tap it again and you'll go back to the daytime clock. So right here in the middle is probably one of the most impressive features of the entire application, um, and it's voice control. Very similar to how Siri works on the iPhone 4S. It's not a conversational type voice control. Uh, it does ha it, It's basically command specific, but it has a lot of different commands. Uh, I would say hundreds and hundreds of different commands um, that you can uh, kind of learn and use within the voice control. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a demo of this right now. Set alarm for 8.30 a.m. New alarm set for tomorrow, half past eight in the morning. So there you go. Uh, it's pretty accurate. I would say nine out of ten times it does get the information, uh, the, the command that I'm trying to say uh, correctly. Um, and like I said, there's a ton of different commands that you're going to have to learn and, and that you can integrate in with this application. You can uh, add an alarm. You can remove an alarm, you can uh, set it to a, a certain ringtone, a, a certain alarm, um, whatever you want. There's a ton of different settings that I'll go ahead and show you guys in just a second here. Um, but the voice command is really, really impressive. Uh, I think a lot of different applications would benefit from having some sort of a voice control. I think it gives the application a little more depth and it's really, really impressive when a developer takes the time to integrate some sort of voice control into it. So we'll go ahead and open up the settings here. As you can see, I added this 8.30 a.m. alarm uh, and it did come up. If I want to delete this 8.03 a.m. alarm, all I have to do is tap on it and hit delete and it's gone. If I want to edit this, all I have to do is tap on it and uh, you can manually set whatever time you want. You can also change uh, the name to it. So if you want to set it to a specific uh, a name, such as wake up for work, wake up for school, uh, something like that, you can do that as well. And you can change it to uh, repeat. So if you want it to repeat, um, you can do that as well. Go ahead and just save that. We'll go ahead and down here um, and see the alarm actions. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is tap on add and you're going to see a number of different things you can do um, that basically uh, is basically what the sound of the alarm is going to make. So they have uh, a number of different alarm sounds right here. Um, these are kind of just the simple uh, different sounds that you can use. Um, they also have this really impressive feature. They have a radio option. Um, so if you hit on, hit on radio, they have all of these different uh, radio genres to choose from. And uh, if you tap on the different genre, you're going to see a number of different stations to choose from as well. I thought this was a really, really impressive feature as well. Um, it really expands the use uh, of the alarms. It's not just an annoying beeping or buzzing sound. You can set it to uh, a radio station. Um, you can customize it to whatever music that you want. And you can even add a playlist. So if you have specific playlists, specific songs on your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch uh, or iPad, you can do that as well. And uh, again, they have even more alarm sounds. Um, they have some pretty impressive ones, some uh, custom different ones. They got a Mario Brothers one. Um, so a lot of different options to choose from. You could basically have a new, uh, new sound to your alarm uh, every single day for an entire year and it wouldn't repeat. It's really, really impressive just how many different alarms um, they were able to, to squeeze into this application. So go ahead and just back up here to the very beginning. 
and uh, go back into the settings here and scroll down to uh, sleep timer. They have a number of different settings for the sleep timer as well. You can change the duration to uh, however many minutes you want. They have an audio mode and uh, you can adjust um, basically anything involving the audio here. And uh, they also have uh, the sleep timer activate. So you gotta turn it on or off to activate it. And it does have some information down there for it as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and into the main settings here. They do have a snooze time. You can set the snooze time to whatever you want. Um, they also have some general uh, general settings down here. Uh, show tips on launch, you can either turn that on or off. So every time you open the application fresh, um, it's gonna give you a tip. You can change the appearance right here from a digital clock to an analog clock. And uh, right here, as I said very early on uh, in the video, they have the option to change uh, the backgrounds. So as you can see, they do have a number of different backgrounds to choose from. Like I said, I think they have over 30 right now. And uh, they're really, really awesome backgrounds. Um, you'll definitely find one that you like. And uh, you can always change it up. Uh, new day, new background, anything like that. Um, but I definitely think they gave you a lot of options to choose from to customize this app even more. And they also have uh, blue, green, and red color options for the nighttime clock. So a lot of different ways to customize this application um, just from the appearance. They have a help manual in the settings as well. So anything that you need help with is going to be right there in the help manual. Uh, the magic word. Now the magic word is uh, involved with the voice command. And basically all you have to do is say, hey, wake smarter or whatever magic word um, that you're saying and it's going to open up the voice control. It's really, really interesting, it's really cool. Um, so if you're just laying in bed with your eyes closed and don't wanna to bother to get your phone, all you have to do is say the magic word and you can set a timer, you can set it to snooze, you can do whatever you want through the voice control. They also have a text to speak, text to speech option. Um, you can adjust the voice volume, the voice pitch, uh, slow, uh, default and fast voice speeds, um, all that good stuff. And uh, they also have some support down here where you can leave feedback and uh, basically tell them how you feel about the application. So there you go. Um, that's basically it. Again, the uh, application is available for $2.99 in the App Store. Definitely worth the money in my opinion. I think you guys should all check it out. Um, I do have a promo code available, uh, only one, um, but the first person to comment down below uh, in, in the video comments is going to get it. Um, so post any comment that you want down below and you have the opportunity to get the promo code. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out this application. Definitely worth the money and I'll see you guys in the next video.